Hello everybody, good morning. You guys are watching Terasa Didi TV KPM with me, Nisa K, your host. Well, we have been seeing some increment in the numbers of the cases of COVID-19. So that is why we must always comply to the SOP set by the government by wearing face masks in the public area. You must take care of the physical distance of at least one meter and always wash your hands using water and soap. Always use hand sanitizer when needed. And when you have to take off your mask, don't forget to keep it in a safe place. Don't please sit elsewhere just place it in a uh, safe case like this i have a plastic case with me where you must not exceed the eight hours usage of this face mask and always stand by some extra pieces so you will have to change from time to time we must always take care of ourselves because such that kita jaga kita and we don't want to face another wave coming at us okay for today's episode this is a very interesting subject because we will be discussing and doing some activities because i've seen i saw some items on this table and i'm so excited to actually uh, introduce the teacher to you so let's see her profile Everybody, let's welcome Teacher Amira to the studio. Hi, Teacher. Hi. Teacher look very young, like way younger than me. <laughs> teacher Amira is from uh, SMK Pasir Gudang, Johor. How are you? Fine. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Thank you. I'm so excited today. But uh, Teacher, what are we going to learn today? Today, our lesson will be revolving around the topic of maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Oh, wow. Uh, which would later eventually lead to a healthier looking body. Mm -hmm. And that also explains why our title today is The Body Beautiful. The Body Beautiful. Yes, so Love. we have prepared many interesting activities for our students today. Okay, so I can't wait, but I am not alone, teacher. Yes. When you mention about activities, I bet I need some friends to do the activities uh, with me. Yeah. Okay, let's welcome our friends also from SMK Pasir Gudang, Johor. Are you guys ready to be with... Oh, hi, everybody. Good morning. Hello. So let's introduce... Uh, Yourself, we will start with uh, what this word. Uh, what this word? Introduce yourself, please. Hello, everyone. Hi. My name is Wajis Morgan, and mm. I'm from SMK Pasir Gudang. Hi, thank you. And we will proceed with Fatih Ikwan. Hi, greetings and salutations. My name is Fatih Ikwan, and I'm from SMK Pasir Gudang. Thank you, Fatih. We'll proceed with Kyrin. Kyrin Arisha. Hi, good morning everyone. My name is Karin Arisha and I'm from SMK Pasir Gudang as well. Alright. Nuru Farhah Alia. Hello and good morning everyone. Mm -hmm. My name is Nuru Farhah Alia from SMK Pasir Gudang. Alright. Uh, Nuru Ifah Adiba. Ifah, are you there? Oh, we have Amirul Humaini. Oh, Amirul, okay. Amiru. Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Amiru Khumayini bin Arifin and I'm from FCK Beach Pasir Gudang. Alright, thank you. And last but not least, uh, Nur Hana. Um, hello everyone. Um, my name is Hana and like other, uh, and like the other participants, I'm also from Pasir, uh, SMK Pasir Gudang. Alright, thank you everybody. Everybody's looking good, looking healthy and most importantly looking beautiful like me and like Teacher Amira. Alright, Teacher, what are we going to do today? We have a two big, uh, what do we call? Dice. A dice, sorry. Tiba-tiba <laughs> lupa. What are we going to do with, with the dice today? Uh, we're going to save the dice for the last okay, because we wow. save the best for the last. All right. Um, so for our first activity, we mm -hmm. are actually going to do a bit of food ranking. Food? Yes. Let's have a look. Oh, I'm fasting, teacher. Okay, so this would be our title, The Body Beautiful. Right. Um, so for our first activity, mm -hmm. we would like to just have the students 
um, rank which food do they think is healthy. Mm -hmm. So here's the instruction. They have to number the food according to what they find as the healthiest okay. and the least healthy. Because, you know, um, we have different perceptions mm -hmm. when it comes to what makes healthy and unhealthy food. Yes. So um, can we first ask anyone to describe what they see on okay. the pictures? Okay, but before that, teacher, we will let our students to see and to analyze this delicious food that we are looking at Especially right when now. we're fasting. Yes, we it's are It's very fasting. challenging thing to it's do. It's very challenging. But then before that, we have a special video. Let's watch this video. Shabil, why do you think English is important? English will help me to excel in the future workplace. Shami, why do you love English? Well, I love English because it is the key to international networking. I simply love English because my teacher creates interesting activities. English is a global language and we can use to converse with people from different countries. With English, I can study in any country. Because it is the language of the internet. Yes, yeah, so that was our friends from SMK, SMK Pasir Gudang telling us why they love English. And I love English too and I hope that we all can improve our English for a better, better level, to a better level uh, in the future. And I think it is, it is very important, right, uh, Teacher Amira, that we have to converse uh, in English with people from other countries too. Yeah. Do you guys love English as well? Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. yes. Give me double yeah. thumbs up. Give me double thumbs up if you guys love English as much as we all do. All right. Okay. 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 Yes. All right. Let's teach her. Uh, we go back to our question just now, which is which food is healthy for you according to the photos uh, shown just now? Yeah. We've got six food items. Okay. So for now, we need one student to try and describe what they see first. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Who would like to try and describe? Who wants to describe? Um, I'm teacher Ryan. Give a try, please. Okay, Hannah yes. wants to try. What do you see, Hannah? Um, uh, um, I believe I see a burger, a bowl of what seems to be oatmeal. It may also be yogurt and a cup of instant noodle. Yeah, it's very easy for us to confuse better uh, whether that is oats or yogurt, but both are quite healthy. Mm -hmm. Um, so let's move to the next picture. I thought it was ice cream, teacher. Ah, because we're <laughs> fasting. Yes. Okay, so the second slide, uh, we can see this uh, three items here. Anyone would like to describe? Tell us what you see. Teacher, actually. I want to try. Okay, right, this. Can you try? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it is nasi lemak, which is a common nation breakfast. The second picture is a salad. And the last picture is a bowl of porridge. All right, thank you, Vaitis. So now that we know all the six food, so we are going to try and have our students give us this food ranking here. Mm. And after that, they have to justify why did they put the food in that order, mm -hmm. okay? Um, before that, maybe we could try out some um, phrases here that they can use to give their opinions when they justify their order. Okay, so when you are giving op opinions, you can say, in my opinion, mm -hmm. I personally think that, to say that that is your perception. I think, I feel, as far as I'm concerned, shows that it is something that you know, that is the extent that you know. And in my honest opinion, to show that you want to be very blunt and very transparent uh, mm. about what you're saying. Okay, going back to our food ranking just now, who would like to try first? Who would like to go first? Teacher, can I give it to me? Yes. Okay, Kyrene. So you are student A, Kyrene. Um, Okay, for me, I would say salad is the healthiest food in the least. Okay. Salad. And followed by oatmeal. Okay, we've got oatmeal number two. Oops. And then? And uh, porridge. So porridge number three. And nasi lemak. Nasi lemak number four. Instant noodles. Instant noodles number five. And lastly, it would be the burger. Yeah, lastly, burger. Okay. We would definitely want to know why Kyrene thinks it should go in this order. But can we have another student first to give his or uh, her food ranking? Can I go next, teacher? Okay, Fateh. Okay, Fateh. What's your uh, food yeah. order? Topping my list would uh, be porridge. 
Porridge as number one. Salad. Salad. Oatmeal. Oatmeal number three. Nasi lemak. Nasi lemak number four. Burger. Burger number five. And and lastly, instant noodles. All right, instant, instant noodles. noodles. So you think instant noodles is the least yeah. healthy food? They have different opinions here. We definitely want to know why they gave different mm -hmm. ranking. Can we ask one more student yes, before we sure. ask? Yes. Can I try kitchen? Yes. For All right, her. for her. Uh, I think I will start with salad. Mm -hmm. Salad number one. Followed by oatmeal. Oatmeal number two. And nasi lemak. Nasi lemak number three. Then the porridge. The porridge number four. And the burger. Burger number five. Lastly, it will be instant noodle for me. All right. Mm. Can we also ask Nisa to try? What okay. would you put? I would try uh, from the healthiest to the least healthy. Yes. Okay, the healthiest would be salad. Salad number mm. one. Um, <laughs> oatmeal number two. Oatmeal number two. Porridge number three. Porridge number three. Nasi lemak number four. Nasi lemak number four. And my number five will be... Mm -mm. <laughs> um, burger. Burger number five. Uh, the least healthy for me is instant noodles. Yes. Mm -hmm. Most of us seem to think that instant noodles are, would be the healthiest. Or I'm the, the least healthiest. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, can we have... Um, one student to try and justify mm -hmm. why they have put this in this manner. Maybe Kairin can start first. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us, Kairin, why you have put salad as the healthiest there? I personally think that salad is healthy because it contains vitamin A from the leafy greens, mm -hmm. calcium from the bean products, if included, and there is also a lot of fiber in salad which help our body digest food. Right. I would have to agree with you there, Kyrene. So maybe salad can help us with our digestive system because mm -hmm. we can have it as a daily fibre intake. So thank you for that response, Kyrene. Can we have a second student just now, Fateh? How would you like to justify your ranking? Uh, yeah, from my point of view, healthy food equals to a balanced meal. Porridge tops the list to, uh, due to our flexibility to customise it to our preference. It already contains carbs and we can add more protein by adding more eggs and chicken. Greens can also be added to make the meal more nutritious and wholesome. Mm, that does sound like a very wholesome and very comforting meal, especially mm. when we're talking about porridge. Um, so can we ask Farha right now to give her justification? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, my personal opinion is that instant noodle would be the unhealthiest food there because of the high level of salt and calories. This is dangerous because it could cause chronic disease like diabetes, stroke and high blood pressure if consumed in the long run. Mm. Mm. I would I definitely 100% agree with Farha there. Sometimes we wonder how um, those people eating instant noodles in massive amount in one single sitting, yes. can they actually survive? Would it take a great toll on their health? Mm -hmm. Is there anyone who would like to respond to that? Um, teacher, I beg to differ. Mm -hmm. um, um, since I think it it really depends on their overall daily lifestyle. Although they do eat very unhealthy meals on camera regularly, it doesn't mean they maintain that um, that diet off camera. Maybe they eat a lot more balanced food and maintain a very healthy lifestyle by working out behind the scenes. Ah, mm -hmm. so she's giving us a very different perspective yes. than what we normally would think. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there is some truth in what Hana is saying there. Mm -hmm. Would Nisa like to justify any of your um, choices here? Well, I actually I agree with our friend just now. Salad uh, is the healthiest food because it's a green vegetable, vitamins, fine and fibers. And I was contemplating between burger and instant noodles. Which one from these two is actually the the least healthy? Maybe. Uh, we can think of how much calorie it yes, has, right? Calorie. If we actually check behind the packaging mm -hmm. of instant noodles, mm -hmm. we get like at least 400 to 500 calories. Mm -hmm. But for a burger, if you um, go and on, on an online application, mm -hmm. maybe you can check 
one hamburger would uh, ha give you like around 250 calories. So maybe the calorie count would somehow help you out. All right, maybe. teacher, it's not easy for me because the food listed are dancing in my eyes. Yes, same <laughs> goes. Yeah. I cannot stand it. I guess we need a break for a little bit. We will we'll be back after this. Stay tuned and I'll see you guys after this. KPM Coming back to Terasa Diri TV KPM, we are still with Teacher Amira and our friends from SMK Pasir Godang Johor. But before that, we would like to thank uh, the students from SK, sorry, SK Balai Besar Terengganu for the video sent to us just now in conjunction of hashtag Terima Kasih Cikgu Kepin. Thank you. All right, Teacher, let's proceed with our lesson. All right, for our next activity, mm -hmm. we are going to watch a video of right. pupils giving their opinions about healthy lifestyle. There will also be pupils uh, resorting to unhealthy lifestyle mm. as well. So after that, our pupils here will have to give their opinions based on the video. So in order for them to give opinions, we are drilling the same um, language forms here. We mm. have got, in my opinion, I agree with so and so. I personally think that to show that it is his or her own ideas. Mm -hmm. I believe that, I feel that from my point of view as well as I disagree. If we heard Hannah just now, she mm -hmm. actually said, I beg to differ. Mm -hmm. So that would be another way of disagreeing. Okay, so let's watch the video first. I believe it is important to have a balanced diet that provides the essential nutrients our bodies need to function effectively. It is important to include the intake of the right amount of calories. Eat in smaller portions and cut down on snacks. Without a balanced diet, we will be malnourished and we will have problems such as indigestion or obesity which will later affect the overall qualities of our health. In my opinion, it's important to exercise and get enough sleep. We can play games, jog, or even go to the gym. Being physically active helps maintain a healthy body weight and it also reduces the risk of having serious health issues. It's vital to have sufficient sleep because it helps you focus more clearly and do better in school and at work. Furthermore, getting enough sleep helps reduce stress and keeps you active the next day. You will feel tired and weak if you have insufficient sleep, which is not good for your health. Hey, Aikal! Would you like to join me to jog? Jogging? It is a waste of time. I have better things to do. It's not good to stay like that. We must exercise at least three times a week. It can help us to lead a healthy lifestyle. I'd rather play online games and watch TV instead of jogging. You must change your habit, Aikal. You can watch TV or play online games, but spend some time to do physical activities. Hi, David. You seem to be busy eating. What are you eating? 
I show the yeah, these are my favorite potato chips, choco cookies and bicarbonate cake. Do you want to join me? Oh no. But even junk food is not healthy at all. You can have it once in a while, not daily. Uh, I can't resist eating all these. What should I do? Oh no, teacher, one of our friends said he'd rather play playing video games rather than go outside and jogging. Yeah, it's a very normal thing mm -hmm. um, happening among our teenagers mm -hmm. nowadays. So let's hear from our students. Um, what do they think mm -hmm. about the videos that they have watched? They might want to just respond to any one of those videos. Can I have a volunteer please to respond? Who wants to, to respond and one of share the videos? your thoughts? Um, Tisha, may I give an opinion for the first video? Please? Right. Okay, Hannah, go on. Okay. Um, I personally agree with the statement by the first student because you need a lot of energy to go through your day and most of our energy comes from food. Yeah. And also, if we consume uh, unbalanced meals all the time, we will most likely get sick and you know, feel sick since our body isn't getting enough nutrition that it needs. Yeah, definitely. It is something that we evidently feel right now as we're fasting. We feel weaker when we are fasting, but once we break our fast, automatically our body is energized because food is fuel for our body. Okay, mm -hmm. Hannah, thank you for that response. Thank you, Hannah. Yes. Can we have a different um, person giving an opinion? Who wants to try? Who wants to try? Raise your hands. I. Okay, Amirul. Okay, Amirul. Uh, okay. I think I agree with your Hannah's statement in the video because based on my research, teenagers do need 8 hours of sleep to have a better performance during the school day. Um, furthermore, getting enough sleep and doing a lot of exercise helps with weight loss. Oh, you're saying it helps with weight loss. Mm -hmm. So after loss, this, yeah, yeah, girls and women are going to have more sleep after this. We're yeah. not going to focus on exercise part, of course. Okay. The sleeping part is very important. I'm going to sleep now. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going to sleep <laughs> with a lot after this. Okay. okay, thank you, Amirul Humani. There's a lot of truth in what Amirul Humani is saying as mm -hmm. well. Because when we stay up late at night, there is a tendency for us to um, eat out of boredom instead mm -hmm. of out of hunger. That's how the weight gain happens. Okay? okay, so let's move to another student maybe who wants to give who opinion. Who has different opinions. Yeah, who maybe. would like to hear? Yeah. Anyone? Teacher, yes. I would like to. Ah, okay, write this. Who are you responding to write this? The statement tree. Video tree. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I disagree with the boy who wants to play video games all the time. It can lead to aggressiveness and violent acts. Okay. Mm -hmm. By not going out, it could affect his health since he spends too much time sitting in his room without doing any physical activity. Okay, so you're saying that he might be leading a sedentary lifestyle mm -hmm. there and it's also going to affect his mental health. You know, yeah. playing video games sometimes mm -hmm. feeds our minds with violent acts and gory scenes so he might want to change his habit mm -hmm. all right so can we now move to a different activity yes, okay. but before that teacher yes. we also have uh, other than videos uh, sent to us mm -hmm. uh, for the hashtag terima kasih cikgu campaign we also have uh, cards uh, physical cards e-cards uh, sent to us by students all over malaysia and we would like to share with the viewers for today's episode so let me choose a card should i choose a card or do we have a digital card I think I'll read one. So we have a very beautiful green and well designed card. This is called, uh, I don't know who is the sender, but thank you so much for this beautiful card. Terima kasih, Cikgu. And I would like to read just a little bit uh, from the, the speech inside. Selamat Hari Guru. Terima kasih, Cikgu, kerana memberi saya ilmu pengetahuan dan mendidik kami dengan baik uh, yang Cikgu telah berikan kepada saya. Terima, terima maaf atas apa yang saya buat kesalahan kepada Cikgu. Terima kasih, Cikgu. Aww. Thank you so much, whoever you are. We love this card so much. Before we proceed uh, to the next topic, uh, Teacher Amira, uh, let's take a break. And uh, for those who are fasting, jangan minum air pula. Baiklah. I'll see you guys after this.
Ide TV KPM This song is for those who inspire us today Who always lend a helping hand to help show us the way This song is for those who see their students through The tough times in their lives For that we say thank you You have made a difference You have shaped our minds Change the world one child at a time. You have always been there. Kau ibarat cahaya yang menerangi hidupku. Terima kasih, cikgu. Thank you for those who are still watching Terasa Didi TV KPM just now. We saw uh, an e-card or a video sent to us uh, in conjunction of hashtag Terima Kasih Cikgu campaign from Adik Kalish Ashraf. Thank you so much. So, Teacher Amira and our friends from SMK Pasir Gurang, let's proceed for our today's lesson. Okay, mm -hmm. so for the next activity, we have a game of true or false. Yay! Yes, in which we are going to state whether the statements uh, given after this mm -hmm. are true or false okay. by raising a traffic light, but we are moving away from the conventional traffic light okay. because our students, uh, they have cooking utensils as their traffic lights. Would yes. you like to show your cooking utensils? Show your cooking utensils. I have mine too as I am getting ready to cook for my meal <laughs> later. Okay. Let's ask what Fatih has there. What do you have there, Fatih? I have a green rolling pin and a red spatula. Okay, ah, maybe you can I can tell Fatih yes. is getting ready to, to bake some raya cookies. Yeah, or your maybe mom. chapati after this yes, for making wow. of fast. <laughs> okay. What about Amiru Humaini? What do you have? Amiru, what do you have? I get a red spatula and green sieve. Sieve, okay. okay. And then maybe I can ask Kairi, what do you have? I have a red spatula and green soup ladle. Okay. Uh -huh. Make sure your mom knows that you, you took that from, from her kitchen. Yeah, they have to make sure of that. Just, just alone, mom. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to look at the statements. Okay. And if you agree, you mm -hmm. raise your green spatula or green cooking utensil or mm -hmm. green um, traffic light. Mm -hmm. And if you disagree, you raise the red one. Okay, mm -hmm. very simple. All right. Okay. So here are the statements. Okay, statement mm -hmm. number one. Are we ready, students? Okay. Are you guys ready? Yes. Okay, first. Double thumbs up. Yeah, <laughs> double thumbs up. Okay, first statement is, it is healthy to count the calories for your daily food intake. Do you agree or do, do you, you disagree? Hmm. It is healthy to count the calories for your daily food intake. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Can we ask Fatih, why did you... So generally, everybody agrees, so it yes. might be true. Mm -hmm. But Fatih there raised a different coloured spat uh, spatula, I think. Um, why Fatih? What's your response to Well, this? I personally believe it's wrong to rigidly count your calories because it may lead to an, um, uh, to an obsession and when it comes with obsessions, it can lead to disorders oh. like bulimia and anorexia. Major weight loss can even cause potential death. Mm. Well, I mean, he got the point. Yeah, there. he has a point. Yeah. Maybe it is healthy to count calories but not mm. to the extent of um, extreme weight loss, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so you don't want that. Definitely, yes. it could do be fatal. Be, do not become too obsessed with definitely. calories intake. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have to agree with Fatih there. All right. Okay, for our second statement, eating breakfast helps you lose weight. Okay. Oh no, <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> this is hard to choose. So, do you agree or do you disagree? Can you raise your um, traffic lights, mm -hmm. please? Um. Oh well. I well, have to disagree. <laughs> okay, so most of us disagree. So, 
it might not help us lose weight. Who would like to respond to this one? May I give it a try, teacher? Okay, Kyrene, what would you like to say? Um, well, we all know that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Mm -hmm. But in my opinion, eating breakfast does not help you lose weight. Instead, it helps keep you feeling fuller longer. As a result, we will not overeat during lunchtime. Oh, okay. Mm. So, fair point from Kyrie there. Yes. Have you heard of this saying whereby people say you must have your breakfast like a king mm -hmm. and then your lunch like a prince and then your dinner like a pauper? So, yes. most of our calories mm -hmm. or it should be heavier during uh, for the breakfast, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you think, Nisa, about this well, one? Well, <laughs> when I... When I uh, you were contemplating. Eat, yeah, <laughs> when I eat my breakfast, it actually makes me tend to feel like, you know... Um, Energized? Hungry yeah. earlier, ah. so I always take earlier lunch. But during the lunch, I will still eat. So no, I have to disagree. Okay, sometimes <laughs> that hap that happens to me as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Um, can we have the next uh, statement here? Teenagers do not sleep enough because they choose to stay up late. Mm. Guilty as charged. Yeah, we are all <laughs> guilty of this one. Can we raise our um, traffic lights? So green what do you think? or red? Is it green or red traffic light mm. there? Okay, okay. Okay. Mid's answer. So can we say it's a tie? Can you raise your, your cooking utensils um higher? Mm. So that we can see? Three red three and three greens, yes. It's ah, a tie. But we have to include yours as well. Yes. So it's mine true. is green. <laughs> yeah, it's true there, I guess. Okay. So um who would like to respond to this one? Mm-hmm. I want to try. Okay, so what do you think about this? I actually agree with that statement. Nowadays, teenagers have a lot of homework to do. Mm -hmm. If they do not do their homework, they will certainly get punished by the teachers or probably the teacher will complain to their parents. So uh -oh. it might be a scary moment for them. Oh, you yes. look terrified. You yeah, look, he, do looks, look. he looks extremely scared right there. <laughs> you do look terrified, but I must say that the teenagers nowadays choose to stay up late because there are social medias and video games. That's mm -hmm. one reason as well. Yeah, for Vaitis there, I hope he gets to compensate for the yes. loss of sleeping time there mm -hmm. by sleeping after he gets his homework done. Eh, Vaitis? Eh? Okay. okay sure, so, teacher. Sure. sure. Okay. We have the next statement here. Eating food while watching television is unhealthy. Mm. Is it true? What do you think? Okay, raise your um, traffic lights, please. What do you think? Is it healthy to eat food while... Who's with me? Who's yeah. with me? I'm, I'm raising my red spatula. Ah, Who's with me? Okay. Oh, okay. All right, so most of us think that it is not true. Mm -hmm. Can we have one student to respond to this statement, please? Um, teacher, may I please give a response to that statement? All right, go on. Um, I am disagreeing with that statement since though watching t watching television while eating may cause you to be distracted while eating, and this later will cause you to eat more. However, watching television while eating won't magically add any more calories into your food, nor make it any, any unhealthier. Mm. So you're saying that if let's say we eat vegetables and fruits while watching television, that might actually be a good thing. Yeah, we can Is munch on some fruits, yeah. you know. Yeah. Mm. yeah, so that's a good option there. Thank you, Hana. Thank you, Hana. Yeah, okay. Um, can we now move to the next statement here? Yes. Eating home-cooked meals is healthier than eating at a restaurant. Okay. Yes, we're definitely going to... Can we raise full, our traffic full lights? Full support to our beloved mums. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Close okay. with me. Yay. Yes. Everybody okay. agrees. So everybody agrees right there. Um, somehow I do love eating out, you know, okay. because mm -hmm. of the ambience of mm -hmm. the restaurant. But let's hear from um, our students who think that eating home-cooked meals is good. Who would like to respond? Who would like to respond? Teacher, can I? Yes, yes, Amirul. Okay, Amirul. I agree with the statement. It's important to know what ingredients we use so that we can confirm whether the ingredients are healthy or unhealthy. Mm -hmm. And we can also avoid allergic reactions. 
Right. Yes, that's very important because we never know what kind of ingredients mm. used when we are eating outside. Yes, we need to have some level of control when it mm -hmm. comes to our food so that we can control yes. the oil, the sugar, mm -hmm. the salt. I mean, food. I love eating outside too. I love going to the nice restaurants or cafes, but we must always choose the right place to eat. Yeah. A, 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 a clean restaurant, you know. Mm -hmm. I wonder when they are going to start having calorie counts on the menu as mm -hmm. well. That would be nice, wouldn't yes. it? Yes. I think some of the restaurants already started, but mm -hmm. it's very, very rare. Yes. Okay, last uh, statement. Number six here, everyone needs to drink at least eight glasses of water mm -hmm. a day to stay healthy. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Big yes. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. So most of the students think that it is true. Okay. Yay. Yay. So who would like to respond to this statement here? I would like to try, teacher. Yes, okay. Farah. Okay. I agree with the statement because we need to drink a lot of water to replenish the loss of water in our body or avoid dehydration. Mm -hmm. We also need to regulate our body temperature and if we don't stay hydrated, our physical performance will be damaged. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely, definitely true there. Thank you, Farha. Thank you very much. Especially during uh, this uh, holy month of Ramadan, we must always take enough water, not during the day, mm -hmm. of course, before we start fasting, which is during the sahur, and after we break our fast, drink enough water to stay hydrated throughout the day. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've also read somewhere that mm. we might want to drink water according to our body weight. Body weight. Yes. Yes. Ah, so, but at least get mm -hmm. eight glasses of water per yes. day. Yes. Uh, I read that uh, of uh, for for every twenty five kilos, mm -hmm. we must at least drink uh, at least one liter. So let's say I have fifty kilograms of body weight. So twenty five, twenty five. I must at least drink two liters of water. So don't over drink, but. Uh, do not uh, drink uh, very in a small quantity. All yeah. right, teacher. Yeah, we have to make smart choices. Yes. Right? Okay. okay. But before we proceed to our next uh, topic or, or lesson, uh, let's take a break. And for those who are fasting, do not drink. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys after this. KPM Thank you for those who are still watching Teras at Didik TV KPM and we are going to play our next activity. Let's teach you, Amira. Okay. Okay. All right. So for our next activity, we mm -hmm. have a role play wow, game okay. here. Um, so we have a f uh, different situations. Our mm. first situation here is your friend tells you she has an eating disorder. So our students will have to be that person in that situation and converse with each other. Okay. So who would like to respond to this role play session here? Who wants to go first? Uh, I would like to, teacher. Okay, so okay. you want to be the person? Uh, the, uh, the one who has the disorder. Okay. All right, the person okay, who has the disorder. And can I have the next person? It's me, teacher. Can okay, I? Amirul. Okay, Amirul. Okay, can we start the conversation? Yes. Uh, yes, hey, uh, I've been trying to tell you something for quite a while now. I actually suffer from a food disease called bulimia. I had it for a few months now and I lost a lot of weight. I feel miserable all the time. Yeah, I do eat in front of you, but in the back, I usually throw it all back up. Uh, it's an endless painful cycle of binging and purging. It, it's really miserable. Uh, I feel like I don't know what to do. I feel like it's the end. Uh, Amirul, do you think this is normal? Mm -hmm. uh, this side is really bad, Fatih. I think you should seek professional help or set an appointment with a doctor to get advice. 
I'm sure you can solve your problem this way. Okay. So Fatih seems like he's really experiencing that problem mm -hmm. personally. Um, and uh, Amiru is doing a very good job there at advising him to seek for mm -hmm. medical help. Okay, can we have a look at the second um, situation here? Yes. Your brother has been consuming fast food and sugary drinks every single day of the week. It could either be a brother or a sister. Mm -hmm. So who would like to respond to this situation here? Who would like to try? Who would like to try? Um, May I be the sister giving the advice, please? Okay, okay Anna. All right, Anna. the sister. And who's your sister, Anna? Mm -hmm. uh, I want to be the sister who oh, right. is eating fast food. All right, okay. So, can we try right now your brief exchange there? What would you like to say to each other? Um, hey, um, are you doing okay? I noticed that you have been binge eating for the past few weeks and all you've ever eaten are sugary foods. Um, that's not very healthy, you know? Mm -hmm. Relax, sis. I'm just chilling out since I didn't do well in the letters at Zell. After all, we still can't do anything because of the MCO and have, have to wait for school to open. I actually want to exercise and go jogging at the playground like before, but I cannot do so. You know what I mean. By eating delicious food, I can distract myself from my personal problems. Um, but, but that doesn't justify you eating lots of food uncontrollably. I think that you should cut down on fast and sugary foods and, you know, maybe replace them with healthier options such as fruits and vegetables. And I'm pretty sure you can still work out in your room or, you know, around the house and that's not any different from working out in the playgrounds. I think you are right. That sounds like a good idea. I did not think about it before. Thank you, sis. I can't wait to try those tips. Oh, All right. okay. So that's good that Farha accepts what Hannah has mm -hmm. said. Hannah is the responsible sister there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you for responding to the situation. Okay, okay um, we are moving to the next activity. Yes, yes. sure. Yes, um, whereby we will have a game of Monopoly. All right. Hmm. Which is why we have the dice here. Okay, okay. I cannot wait. <laughs> okay. So, I'll just uh, quickly explain how to play the game. Okay. So, me and Nisa will be rolling the dice mm -hmm. uh, for our students to move their, uh, themselves from one box to the other. All right. Uh, and then, once they get the number, we will pick a card from these four decks of cards. All right. So, the four decks of cards will have the picture of chicken, apple, vegetables, um, as well as fish. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, a question will be given to them once we get the number. Oh, okay. okay. Let's touch so, I'll get my first So can we get the first dice. player first? Who wants to play? Who's the first player? Can, can I go first? Oh. I'm kind of excited. Oh, yeah. Okay. So Fateh is excited to try. So Nisa, can I have your honour of okay. rolling the dice? I'm going to roll the dice. But not too far. Okay. 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 Let's see. Let's, let's see. Let's see what number it is. It's number five. Number five. Number five. Okay. So I'm gonna give Fateh mm -hmm. the question. Okay. Okay. Fateh, are you ready? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So the number five has a picture of chicken on it. Fateh, uh, keep take note of your score, eh, Fateh. Okay. So Fateh, how do you cope with stress? How do you cope with stress? I I usually listen to music. Mm hmm. Can I also I listen to music? Yes. Can I also ask you why you listen to music? How does it help you cope with stress? Well, music gets me distracted by the craziness of the world and it helps me focus on the good stuff. Mm. Distracted from the craziness of the world. You should know the world really. <laughs> Yeah, okay. he's talking from experience, yes. I guess. Okay, so for the next player, can we get our players first? Who wants to play next? Volunteer. Okay, okay Kyrene. I'm going to roll the dice here. Okay. So the number that you will get is... Oh, oh, oh. Also five. Also five. Okay. So we might have to roll the dice again. Again, all yes. right. Okay, let me roll once again. Mm -hmm. Nisa likes doing four, this. Four. <laughs> Number two. Okay, number two. Mm -hmm. It's a picture of an apple. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So um, the question for Kyrene is, how many hours should you sleep at night, Kyrene? We should at least sleep for eight hours. Mm. Eight hours. Kyrene, Ky do you think that you get eight hours of sleep at night? Mm -hmm. No, I don't get enough sleep because I usually sleep at 12 a.m. due to the tons of works to get done. And I have to wake up at 5 because school starts in the morning. And that's only 5 hours of sleep. Yes, wow. I think most of us get less than 8 hours of sleep. Sometimes I pity these students, but mm -hmm. what to do is their responsibility to do yes. homework. So, and it's our responsibility as teachers mm. to give homework. So, mm. so you have to do what you have to do. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. So Next. let's uh, try again. Uh, can we have a different player right now? Who wants to play next? I'm going to roll um, the dice. Can I go next, please? Okay, Hannah. Okay, Hannah. So your number will be also number two. Also number two. Okay. Maybe we can try rolling two dice. Okay. 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 So you roll one, and okay. I'll try to roll another one. All right. Okay. One, two. So two and three. Five. It's five. So we need to roll okay. another one. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Five and six. one. So it's six. Okay. So six. Six. Okay. So six would be... Are you ready, Hannah? Mm -hmm. Hannah, what do you usually have for breakfast? Um, I usually have bread with butter spread onto it. Okay, um, Hannah, why do you have um, bread and butter? Okay. Is that like um, an English thing? I, um, because I believe that it's probably the healthiest and safest option for me since um, I'm pretty sure that's what my body needs um, er that early on in the morning. Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay, so maybe you need that calorie from the butter. Yeah. Yes. Maybe. maybe you can substitute the, the butter with like salad or tuna or I don't know. <laughs> now that we're talking about healthy eating. Yes. Okay. All right. So next. Next player. Okay, I'll try to. Can we have a next player? Mm -hmm. Me? Okay, Farha. Okay, I Farha. I wrote the dice for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, the first dice and the second dice. Also six. Also six. Why we are getting same numbers? Do you need okay. help? <laughs> yes, teacher, please. Okay, right. let's try again. One, two. Oh. Five again. <laughs> We'll try one the more. The are not in our favour. Okay, one, two, three. Five again. I'll roll the dice. Okay. For the final time. Oh, oh, oh. Three. Three. Okay. Okay. All right, finally. Okay, for Farha, mm -hmm. what does healthy food mean to you, Farha? Uh, I think... Healthy food, uh, healthy food means a balanced diet. Mm. What would you eat to have a balanced diet? Um, I will eat maybe salad and less fat food. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. so seems like Farha there has uh, made a very good choice there. Yes, salad. but when, when we're talking about healthy food, people always choosing like be choosing like mm. salad. Mm -hmm. I mean, fruits are healthy too. And um, what we call cereals are healthy too, but mm. just uh, be careful of the processed one, you know? Yeah. Okay, mm. teacher. Th okay. Yes. I think the World Health Organization has mm -hmm. also um, established mm -hmm. processed food as something which can cause cancer. So yes. that might need to be something that we need to consider as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have learned so much about healthy food and I have fun playing the giant dice. Yeah. Can I actually we had bring to this one home? If you want to. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's okay. All right, we would like to thank our friends from SMK Pase Gudang for actively participating in today's lesson. Thank you so much, Teacher Amira. Maybe you have uh, last words for the students out there? Okay, mm -hmm. so for our students today, we have been able to um, unravel what it means by healthy and unhealthy mm. lifestyle through the games that we played. So hopefully after this, we can all make more informed choices mm -hmm. when deciding what to eat uh, so that we can have a healthier lifestyle in future. Yes. yes. All right. So I hope for those who are watching us at home also get a glimpse of what to eat after this. I mean, during you know you break your fast, maybe you can go to the 
Bazaar Ramadan. I actually picked something healthier than what you had yesterday. So I might be mm, okay, but <laughs> I'll think about the food later. You know, today is like I see very early. So I guess we'll see you guys after this in the next episode of Didi TV. Stay tuned on Didi TV. We have so many uh, good and great programs uh, throughout the day. I'll see you guys after this. Assalamualaikum. Bye. Bye. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye students. Okay, jump kita. Okay, so the importance of learning English for students is it will help them when they go into the working world. So English is very important, especially in two fields, science and also business. So if students want to go into these two fields, they would need to master this language by being able to communicate well with it. When they can communicate well in this language, they will be able to deal with other people easily and also to talk with them and to do things that is required in the field. Now, when we talk about how they can learn or how they can improve this language, first, what students should do is they should expose themselves to English-related materials. So what are some examples of English-related materials? For example, reading newspapers, reading novels, watching movies, listening to songs, using the dictionary to find out words that they don't understand and things like that. Also, in my opinion, it is important for students to also communicate well in this language. So they should always try to use this language to communicate with others around them. This will help them to build their confidence so that they, they can improve this language. Thank you.